Where there is a pavement or footpath, use it. Do not walk next to the curb with your back to the traffic. Look both ways before you step into the road. 2. Where there is no footpath, walk on the right hand side of the road. It is safer to walk on the side facing oncoming traffic. Keep as close as possible to the side of the road and do not walk more than two side by side. Take care at right hand bends. Keep one behind the other if possible, particularly in heavy traffic or in full. Yeah, Daddy wouldn't give you out there. Honey, it's not a question of him giving him up, it's whether he, I, I give him up. <laughs> I told you, I will not be treated like a child. No. He can't have it always. Treat me as a woman when it suits him, treat me as a child when it suits him, treat me as an idiot when it suits him. <laughs> <laughs>
and the weight control, one of the weight controllers, Chris Dawson. And, um, electrical instruments, is it hot? That still leaves, can you give us a couple of minutes? I'll be a second. That still leaves Richard Williams on site. Well, I mean, that... Yes, that's, that's for troops. It's where we are people, you know, not, not engineers. Somebody's got to correlate the info. Now, I don't know what the fuck to do. I mean, I can't very well tell Stuart to go and fuck off. Um, I can't tell you because it looks as though I'm breaking cover. Pardon? Right, well, you rang me about the testing, OK? Right. And I've mentioned it. Because you're asking... I spoke to you, what we're going to see is I spoke to you this morning about wanting more engineers. Yeah. And you, I said I'd wait till the assessment was done. And you've rang us back and I've spilled it. Right. OK? Now, let me tell him that first. Give us half an hour to tell him that, because if he comes cold, he'll think I've been gagging. I'm standing in the now. you be just ready to leave. OK. Now, I don't know what to do. You see, one of the people... Are coming around? Call him. Fucking two tea that. I've had two tea fat. Yeah. Oh fucking agony it was. Fucking he says, You've been here before? I went, no, nah, ten years ago since I lost one at Dennis. Next thing I know, fucking she slapped me around the face, I'm crying. <laughs> wake up, wake up, it's all done. Fucking joke. Alright then, so I might see you later. Where he's playing as well. conscientious man and uh, first of all I'll, I'll describe him a bit he, um, he was rather unusually dressed compared to today's dress he wore um, cord trousers with what we called a tailboard front and um, then he wore yorks at the bottom of these trousers they were leather straps just below the knee you see but when I asked him what they were for he used to tell me I like it to keep the dust out of my eyes but I found out after that um, it was to give a bit of fullness at the knee when he was sweating and stop uh, his, his trouser buttons being pulled off. You see, when he was working, there was a purpose in these yorks. And then he wore a jacket of grey fustian, similar to uh, very hard wearing stuff, you know, and a waistcoat with uh, lots of pockets, one for his watch and his tobacco. And um, then uh, on top of that, during the lambing time, he wore a, a thing like a pinafore frock made out of sacking with um, some binder twine round the middle and he got his battered old trilby and he used to keep his clay pipe stuck in his yorks when he wasn't smoking it and he smelt a mixture of Jay's fluid, Stockholm tar, twist tobacco, cider and um, well and sheep I should say 
Not that he wasn't clean, mind you, I mean, he was a clean man, but it was just the, the you know, the, the smell of him. And um, everything seemed to be um, for a purpose. Now, he had his thumbnails a bit on the long side for getting the maggots out of the sheep, you see. Then um, he got about three teeth at the front, which uh, he used to use for castrating the lambs, and they came in very handy. He drew the, he did the castration with his teeth, you see. And, and then uh, another spare time job of his was doctoring cats. He used to put a pair of steel spectacles on the end of his nose, and he looked real professional when he was doing that. But um, he was a very nice old chap, and he taught me lots of things. But in ha at haymaking time, it was never just right for him that hay wasn't. He was always um, very critical. He'd say, we haven't put enough work into it. It didn't fit to carry or something like that. There's no herbage in it. There's no nature in it, whatever that meant. It's not like it used to be when we used to do it by hand, you see. Well, he used to build the rick. And um, we got one uh, haymaking tool. We got to one rick about three parts of the way up. And um, Mr. Bailey, my father's partner, had just bought a whirly set. And he came out in the rickyard about tea time. He says, well, I just heard the forecast. He says, it's going to rain tomorrow. So my father said, oh, well, if that's it, Harry, he said, we better um, pick up that other ground of hay tonight, he said, before it gets spoiled. And old shepherd, he says, that's never fit in the world. He said, it'll fire, fire as safe as eggs. He says, no, we're carrying that's too green. So my father says, well, he said, we'll risk it anyway. So uh, they got it up together, and old chap kept grumbling all the time, and he, he was building this rick. And the biggest job was to get the old man down off the rick then, because he was, uh, he was pretty tottery. And there were two men out the bottom of the ladder, and two more on the top got him on the ladder, and the ladder trembled as he came down. And his, la his words were when he got onto the road, onto the, onto the ground, he says, I oh, didn't go up there again for five pounds. And then he used to tell me about his, his son, Will. And I said, how many sons did you have, Shepherd? I oh, said, only one. He said, that was one too many. He said, the silly young fool, he said, in that first war, he said, he went and joined that flying corps. <laughs> Whatever he was thinking about, I don't know. He said, then he went bankrupt. He said, no, I was the biggest creditor. He said, and he threatened to kill the official receiver. We said, oh, yeah, I've had some trouble with our will. But um, as regards Shepherd, you know, Shepherd was, a, was a, an expert. He could shear 40 sheep in a day with a hand shears, which was a, a very good day for a blue degree.
should uh, open like this because we don't think it's fair to anybody. So we're only going to do one more number. Anybody can be a fucking cabaret artist, just if you just want to be a cabaret artist. I tried to make it easier. I tried, I realized what I'd done. I, th I said, well, that's it. No trial. There was no bringing the women to face the court, the cameras and everything else. It was just get on with it. No barrister. I'll take the punishment. Was, I don't. I mean, they lock us in prison. I've been in, as I say, a, a few years. And there's others in prison for long term, short term. There's, when they get out, and they're still asking those questions, but they'll get out. And I can guarantee now, somewhere, someone will be raped within a month in this country. And they'll take him and they won't bother saying, well, why did you do it? They'll just say, hang him up. And he'll be banged up for another couple of years. Then when he gets out again, he might rape again. He might not. But it's through no fault of his own. I mean, he is, if there is something wrong with him, why don't you find out what's wrong with him? You just ask me a question, why? I can't tell you. I don't know. I'm not experienced enough to know. All I know is me. I've tried to explain that. And I said, have you spoken to the mean fiddler? He said, oh, you know, and he hasn't, basically. Well, he hasn't Nigel, said one word to them. Nigel? Yeah. You know something? Last night, everything went crazy, right? Right. Right, I'm going to tell you the truth, right? And I think to that, you've got to know what Right, right now, Jamin said that the other day that there was supposed to be a meeting, right, over your place. Yeah. Now, Mikey had just done spoken to you, and yeah. then Jamin came, phone, and said to him, said that listen, meeting over at um over Nigel, here. Yeah. Right now, yeah. Mikey said that doesn't make no sense. No, right? I, I just spoke to Mikey. Yeah. Right. He said that doesn't make no sense because if if Nigel wants us over there, Nigel has got my number and also Starlet's number. That's right. So Absolutely. there's no problems there. All Nigel's got to do is just phone and we'll come over. Yeah. Well, now, as far as I knew, right, Mikey said, right, this is what Mikey said. Yeah. Mikey said, one, he wasn't just going to get up and just start come over to your office like that and didn't phone him and you've got his phone number, right? Yeah. And I said, I spoke to Nigel in the morning. Yeah. And if my, Nigel wanted us to come over there, Nigel could have phoned me back in the afternoon and said, start let nip over in about an hour or so. Of course. Right? Of course. And with Mikey, and let's have a rap about some yeah. things, right? Yeah. No problem. But Nigel never do that. See, I don't want Jamie's to sort to make out to me that you're one of these spur the, spur, spur the moment guys. Absolutely you're not. You're not organised, right? Absolutely not. And, and yeah. I know that. I I know that if you wanted to call us, you just call us. Well, just ring you up right there. Right, right. Now he's saying to me, right, yesterday that uh, he can't work out things with with Mikey. Mikey's this and Mikey's that. Basically. It looks like the two of them's gonna get at one another's throat, and I think Jamie's gonna come out the worst of it. Definitely, yeah. H A M. Yeah. yeah, road. No. That's Walthamstow. Right. Uh, all the and all that. Right. And ejaculate. 
station and all that sort of thing. Everything. Right, okay. Um, yeah, mixture. I'll send you a picture of everything. Okay. Well, I'll get thrown out as soon as I can and pick you later then. Okay, right, thank you. All right. Bye. Bye now. Okay. Well, I might throw my jeans on. I've been at Brown Sea Car off for half an hour or so, if you don't mind, eh? I haven't seen her all day. Well, it's up to you. Yeah, when I get there, you mean? Yeah. I'll make you a cup of tea first. I'll give you a ring just to put down the A1 car. Yeah.
charming wife. Hmm? Oh, it's not too bad. Okay. Yes. Betsy, your family? Oh, Betsy is okay. That, you know, it's very boring. Yes. Okay. Yes. And how's Liz? Hmm? How is Liz? No, I'm okay. No to worry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Nice day. Hmm? Nice day. What's that? Hmm? Did you call me? Yes, I did. Yes? Yes, yeah, they ring in my house now. Uh, there are some messages to me from you. Uh, they say to me it's very important. Yeah, where are you? Hmm? Where are you? In my friend's house. Are you in your friend's house? Yes. Yes, I've got um, something that belongs to you. Hmm? I have your toothbrush here. What's that? Toothbrush. Kick it, yes. What's that? So your teeth. Hmm. Yes, brush to clean them. Hmm? Oh, my brush. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, mm. I have your necklace. What's that? Around your neck. Hmm? Your bead. Bead? Colored bead. Hmm? Neck. Chain. Your ch you know your neck? My neck. Yes. Uh, just a minute. There you go. Hello. Yes. No, I don't know what's that. Your neck. No. Neck. Neck. What's that neck? Necklace. It's important. Yeah, you left them here. Mm. Do, you, do you want me to send them to you? Mm? Shall I send them in in envelope? Post it. Just a minute. Alex, yeah. say to, to my friend, what's that next cause I don't understand it. Oh, no. Just a minute. Yeah, let's follow my Hi, tell me then. Hello. Hello. Who is this? Daniel. Daniel, do I know you? No. Hold on, hold on, someone is knocking on my door. Tony, see you in a minute, just finishing something. I'll go there. Hi, hi. Yes, can you tell um, Hector. Hector, I have his toothbrush yeah? and his necklace. All right. <laughs> Ele está com toda a escova de dentes e com teu colar. Ah, that's all. Yeah. All right. Does, 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 does he want them sent in an envelope to his house? Ah? Uh? Yeah. Can ask him if he wants it sent to his house. Yeah. Or shall I give them to him when I see him? All right. Você quer que ele te mande um envelope para sua casa ou você quer que ele te entregue quando ele te ver? Não. Pode deixar. Agora já. He finishes off that then. All right. He's gonna answer you. Bye. Obrigado. Hello. Hello, girl. Oh, don't you worry about it. No, I'll, I'll give it to you when I see you. Okay. Yes. That's all right. Okay, darling. <laughs> you take care. Hmm? You take care. You too. And I'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Big kiss for you. Sorry? Big kiss for you. Mwah. Mm hmm? Mwah, mwah, mwah. When will you see you? When will I see you? Soon. Yeah. Mm hmm? Okay, that's all right. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll win. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.
flowing freely through the shoulders, along the top of the shoulders. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I was just... No, I just love you and I want to help you sort it out. Oh, well, I'm fat lot of good. Oh, I'm not. I just love you, Mildew. I really do, and I feel so sorry and so anguished for you. And I feel the loss of the Prixie so. Yep. I mean, you can... There's all sorts of things to think about the Prixie. I don't know what he'd say to you now. Okay, shush. I love you too. Feel free to call me anytime. If you want to come over at all in the next couple of days, will you let me know? And you're, going, well, you're welcome to come to supper if you think that'll do any good. Do you want to do that or do you want to think about it or what? Do. Okay. Yep. Oh, Mojo, I love you too. Anytime you want to talk, I'm here. I really love you, Mildew Shushu. I can't bear for you to be hurt. All I can say, listen, all I can say is it's not all your fault. Sometimes if you're told endlessly that everything's your fault, you start to believe it. Please don't. Okay. I love you. God bless, Mildew. Bye. Love you. <laughs>
it's not my money, it's someone else's. And then so just give it back to him. All right? Everything else all right? Good, good, good. You're boxing, you're training a lot. I hate talking to you on a fucking mobile. It costs me too much, it does. I'll speak to you later on. All right, mate, bye. I've got some, um, thingy bobs. Ease? Yep. How many? Uh, 50. Have you? Yep. Um... Yeah, 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 no, you know me. That's, how much are they? What's that? How much are they? Well, I want to try and get rid of the bulk. Oh, right, you know. Mm. Mm. Bulk and I do a good no, 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 I do. You, 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 you think I'm stupid? Uh, <laughs> you know me, I can't. Yeah. But every week, every week, you know what I mean? But how, no, no, we, you know how often we take it? Oh, you're dunking now. <laughs> no, you know what, well, no, how often? Is every two and a half months, once? Really? That's all it is. Well, you buy a supply, you know, you got it. Oh, bloody hell, no. Are they good ones? Are oh, the best. Yeah? They're the best. Keep about ten for me. How much are they? They're the best. I've got somebody who might take some, about one or two, that's about, you know, I'll just take, like, six or seven no, off you and that's it. Minimum ten. Oh, bloody hell, my fool. All right, five or a piece. How much are they? Oh, yeah, okay, that's a street value. I'm buying bulk load. What's your problem? If you're buying, if you're buying minimum 30, mm. then it's 10 a piece. No, I don't want that many. What do I want to stash them out? You know, making me fucking sound like I'm a junkie or something. They <laughs> 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 piss off you. <laughs> no, I tell you what, I, I don't take 10 off you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take 10 off you. Okay. Um, uh, just take 10 off you, yeah. Right. Yeah? They are, the are they white? Are they little white caps? Uh, these are, they're stuff that they call hamburgers. Why are they? Huh? Why are they? They are the best. Anybody who knows what they're, they're talking about, huh? they are the, you know what I mean? Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Shit, you scared me already now. <laughs> I don't want the fucking bed. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's a business. Is it? It's not going to give you, like, grief and a half, is no, it? No, no, no. I'm doing business as in, you know what I mean? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, oh, capsule. What's that? Capsule, is it? Mm -hmm. Alright, let me see it. I, I, I obviously can't talk to the No, I'll just... Uh, no, 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 what am I Alright, listen. Yeah. I'll speak to you. Keep 10 for me, anyway. Right. Yeah? yeah? And I'll speak to you... Well, you're going to probably know today or tomorrow yeah. about the 140... Yeah. Or was it? I'd forgotten the exact amount. Yeah, well, 5,000 pounds, was it, for the survey? <laughs> I'm wishing my dream. <laughs> Alright. All right, and I'll see you today or tomorrow, and tomorrow probably, or yeah. the day after the latest, yeah? But keep some for me, yeah? Right. All right, bye. All right. Yeah. Good. Gary, can you, you 
just coming. Okay. That's your other half. You're right. Hello, Tony. Right, listen, you've got to come to, you know, Queenstown Road? That's what you've got. Over Chelsea yeah. Bridge, where we went last night. Yeah. You know, you've got to go past the big white observer building. Yeah. You know, on your left hand side. Yeah. As soon as you come to the end of the building, there's a company called um, Connect, C O N N E C. Yeah. Okay, it's a mobile phone place. That's where you've got to go. Yeah. Alright? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the money in an envelope in there. I don't know, it's sealed in an envelope. Open the envelope, see how much you've got. Open the envelope. Can you count how much money's in there for me, Dave, please? 500. 500. 500 is in there. 500 pounds in there. Two weeks. Yeah, okay then, come straight away, yeah? Okay, I'm on my way. I ain't suited, though. No, don't matter. Alright then, see you in a minute.
Are you running out? You stay here. You better stay. I'll force you to stay here. You better stay here. Come on. Nothing doing. You're a slave. You're a slave. And if you're a slave, you're a slave. <laughs> Let the wife stay. You better not. I'll hang you. Oh, I'll hang you. You better stay here. Yeah. I'm going to kiss your missus for that. I'm going to hang you. I'm going to torture you.
The obviousness that everything uh, vibrates, you know? Exactly. And uh, that's pretty wonderful. Well, you're both dead tired. No, I was going to ring you just there, and I thought you might be having your food. I was going to bring you to tell you not to come. Oh, is he? No. Oh, I see. I see, Joe, yeah. Okay. And you're back Sunday night, Joe. It's only one night. You're away then. 
Okay, I should possibly pop down to Miss Ellis. But I'll be coming up about six o'clock. Okay, Joe. Oh, that's good. Okay, Joe, thank you very much. Yeah, a lot better, Joe. I feel okay. in the kitchen. 